Today, we're talking about making choices and making good choices and about rules and why we need them. We're in the chapel today because this is where we learn from the scriptures. Here at the altar of God, we learn from the word about how we should live our lives. Does your family have rules? Does your family have rules? It does. Why does your family have rules? We need them. Why? Well, we just did whatever we wanted to, it would be right. That's true. Moses was leading all these people from Egypt and he started having a lot of trouble with them. Some of them were not very good. They were disobedient. They made idols. They quarreled. They lied. They did all sorts of crazy things. And so God asked him to go up to the mountains, which he did, and God gave him some rules. And these rules were telling us how to act as God desires us to do. So today, Darrell is going to tell us the story of the 10 best ways. But before we do that, let's close our eyes in prayer. Dear Father God, thank you for giving us the Bible, which tells us about you and your rules for living. Help us to understand and to obey, so that all your children around the world may live in peace and harmony as you intended. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now we're going to sing a song about how good God is to us. take my mask off so you can see my face while I'm telling your story. This morning we're going to talk about the 10 best ways. The people of God came through the water into freedom. and Miriam led the dancing. And now they were free. Oh, they could go anywhere they wanted to go. They could do anything they wanted to do. 
but where would they go? What was the best way? God loved the people and provided the best way. But remember, the desert is a dangerous place. It changes, the wind blows, there's not enough water, there's not enough food, and the people of God do not go into the desert unless they have a good reason. God sent them into the desert. And Moses led them. And the further they got into the desert, the harder it was. There wasn't always enough food. God helped them find food. There wasn't always enough water. But God helped them find water. But still, it was enough, but it didn't always feel like enough. Some people even wanted to go back to Egypt. The people followed fire, smoke from the fire in the daytime, and they followed the light of the fire from the mountain at night. And the closer they came to the mountain, the more afraid the people became. Why was God bringing them here? Was God in this place? Would he be here? This mountain full of fire and smoke. They were afraid. Only Moses was brave enough to go up to the mountain and get close to God to find out what God would have them do. What were the best ways? The further up the mountain he got, the harder he was to see. There was smoke and fire everywhere. The people waited. Some became impatient and behaved badly. They forgot sometimes that they were the people of God while they waited to hear what God would have them do. But Moses listened and he knew that God wanted him to write the best ways on stone and bring them down to the people. And so he did. The 10 best ways. Some of these ways are ways to love God. And some of these ways are ways to love people. And one of these ways is a way to remember that God loves you. One way to love people, oh, wait, let's start with God. One way to love God is do not have other gods. Another way to love God is do not make idols to serve. Another way to love God. Do not speak God's name lightly. Speak of God with respect. Always to love God. 
keep the Sabbath holy. That's a way for you to remember that God loves you. And that God has called you to love people. Honor your father and mother. That's a way to love the people in your family. Do not kill people. Do not break your marriage. Sometimes marriages don't work. That's not always the same as breaking. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not even want what other people have. These are all ways to love people. I wonder, did God say these were the easiest ways? I don't think so. The best ways. Sometimes these ways might even feel almost impossible. But God would have us try anyway and do our best. I wonder which one of these ways is easiest for you. I wonder which one of these ways is hardest for you. Let's talk about the story. I wonder who you are in this story. I wonder if we took away one of these ways, this story would be the same. Would it be the same if they were the nine best ways? or the two best ways. I wonder what would happen if Moses had not been brave and gone up on the mountain. Would the people have known the best way? I wonder if you've ever been brave and heard God speak to you. people of God then took the ten best ways and put them in a golden box called an ark and they carried them with the ark with them everywhere they went Jesus had ways Jesus said Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. A way to love God. And Jesus said, Love your neighbor as yourself. A way to love people. I tell you what, in this box this morning, there's a lot of love. And this story belongs to you. These are Jesus's ways of loving. And God's 10 best ways of being. way to remember that God loves you, 
the way to love people, the way to love God, the box, to remember, Mount Sinai, the mountain of fire and smoke, the people of God, and the 10 best ways. Amen. Well, thank you again, Darrell. Every time you tell the stories, it brings it alive for us, and we so appreciate that. So, children, I want you to get out your envelopes. You should have got them in the mail again. And the first thing you'll see is a letter to your parents. I've put in a brief story for them to read along with your music and all your activities. So you can have the parents read you your story again so you can remember. And the Ten Commandments for Kids. Put God first. Do not make fake gods. Respect God's name. Respect God's day of rest. Respect your parents. Don't kill people. Respect marriage promises. Do not steal. Do not lie. And do not be jealous. Now some of those are very hard to keep. And that's why we're lucky that God sent Jesus. So that when we did things wrong, or do things wrong, He forgives us. And when you finish going through those, you can start your activities. There's a beautiful window for all your um, commandments to go into and some pictures for you to color. And then you can take the activity to color your letters and make yourself a book all about Moses. And if you can color the, the big letters of the alphabet that spell his name and you will have your own little book to read about Moses and his life and how he went up Mount Sinai. Then, I've put in all the pieces for you to make Moses. And there he is. So you need to go find an empty toilet roll and take all your pieces and give him his little walking stick and his Ten Commandments. Give him a nice long beard. And you can put him in, his in your room so you're reminded to keep the laws of God. There's also a coloring page for you. And so I hope you enjoy these activities. And when you do them, you can think about everything that God gives you and how good he is. And now we're going to sing a song and then close in prayer. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am Thank <laughs> you.